So it's currently the month of March as I'm filming this, and you know what that means. Good old Krispy Kreme is going to help us celebrate St. Patrick's Day by getting us into the mood with their all-new St. Patrick's Day collection for 2024. And guys, I've got all four flavors on the inside of this box, so sit tight because it's up next for you. As always, I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Yeah, you already know, I'm down for Krispy Kreme most any time of the day, guys, but especially during the promotions they have each month and naturally for here on the channel to show you guys what they've got going. For March, we've got the St. Patrick's Day collection for 2024. A lot of green goodness here. All four of them ready to go, looking nice and sweet. So I love this situation I think we're about to get into. All right, as always with these Krispy Kreme reviews, what I'm gonna be doing is taking a single bite of each one, giving you the breakdown as always, and then I'm gonna go for a sip of green tea in between to wash the palate, and then we'll move on and go down the line. So let's get this party started, guys. And we'll start off with the ultra plain one over here. This is looking pretty nice. Definitely digging that shamrock action right over there. What this is, is the Shooting Shamrock Donut. Basically an original glaze that's dipped in light green icing with a green icing swirl, and then it's finished with a shamrock sugar piece. So very simple on this one, guys, but still the classic Krispy Kreme goodness just done up for St. Patrick's Day. And I'm not gonna hate on it too much, guys, because there's always a basic one in the group, and in this particular case, that's exactly what this is here. But with the addition of that candy piece right over there, or the sugar piece, I should say, that's not bad. So let's give this a go. It's the Shooting Shamrock Donut over here as part of the St. Patrick's Day collection for 2024 Krispy Kreme. Let's peep this out. And yes, I am gonna bite that shamrock. Let's peep this out. Very sweet. But the sugar piece is banging crunchy, nice and soft on this one. It's tasty. Yep, no surprises with this one, guys. It's pretty much your standard Krispy Kreme donut with a little extra layer of icing on the top. It has no additional flavor, so it's all colored here. And naturally with that candy piece on the top or the sugar piece, decent crunch that I'm getting from that. And of course, that little squiggle of the action right there as well. This is just okay, but again, it's a very fresh Krispy Kreme donut nonetheless. But is this one worth the 309 that I paid for it? Absolutely not, guys. I know it's Krispy Kreme, it's still expensive, and honestly, guys, again, it's just okay for what it is. This is really a very basic situation. So let's go for a quick sip of green tea, and we'll move on to number two. Hang on. Very, very nice. All right. This one looks a little basic as well. Let me see if I can get this uh, right for you guys here. Take a look at what I've got here, guys. This is the Plaid Party Donut. Not a bad presentation, but again, kind of basic, right? I mean, it's kind of really on the basic side. All right, so what we've got here is an unglazed shell donut with a white cream filling that's dipped in chocolate icing and drizzled with green icing. So very simple, guys, for that plaid pattern on the very top here. But guys, as basic as you can get, without the green, this would just be any other type of donut. But you know what it is? It's a St. Patrick's Day situation, so it's gotta be green. You know, and on the real, outside of the quote-unquote plaid pattern on the very top of this and the colors, this is really pretty much just the standard regular donut you would get at Krispy Kreme year-round, just with the white cream filling. So is it worth 309 Flavor-wise, I think it's going to be decent, but still, this is much closer to the price point I would probably pay, as opposed to 309 for that original glaze that I just did. So let's go for a bite of this one, guys. It's the Plaid Party Donut, part of the collection over here at Krispy Kreme. Let's peep this out. Mmm. A lot of white cream in this one. That's pretty nice. Almost got like a Twinkie vibe there with the flavor. Decent. Well, this is a very hearty bite, guys. Plenty of the white cream filling mixing in very beautifully inside a nice, very soft shell donut topped off with that chocolate icing. And of course the extra icing, which is just colored right there for patterns, but still very basic for what this one is, but still very fresh for what it is. And guys, I gotta say, I'm still getting that Twinkie vibe because of that vanilla cream on the inside. It's pretty nice though for what it is, decent. Yeah, I'm getting kind of notes of vanilla with that cream on the inside. They just call it a generic white cream, but it kind of feels like a Twinkie situation, but still very tasty and again, very hearty, guys. This is pretty thick, so decent, definitely decent. All right, let's grab a little quick sip of some green tea. We'll move on to number three. Hang on. All right, and for the next one, this is looking pretty nice, guys. Very colorful. Feast your eyes on what I've got here. This is what they're calling the Luck of the Rainbow Donut. Pretty colorful, guys. And essentially, just like the original one that I tried in the very beginning, this is an original glaze that's dipped in green icing and then topped off with a rainbow explosion sprinkle blend and a buttercream cloud. So kind of nice, very colorful, but again, very much like the original donut from what we've got here. So decent for what this is as well. 
And I'm only saying decent for what this is because guys, it's an original glaze just with a little bit more of the crunchy action. So I think this is gonna be pretty much the same type of flavor with the addition of the buttercream cloud right over there. So let's give this a shot, guys. It's the luck of the rainbow donut over here at Krispy Kreme. And yes, I'm gonna bite into the cloud because I want that extra oomph in this one. I don't want it to taste like the other. So let's peep this one out. Okay, now not bad. Buttercream is pretty nice and sweet, but it's an original glaze with extra crunchies on the very top. That's it. Yeah, this is just like the shooting shamrock donut at the top of this review, guys. Essentially the exact same thing, but just an extra bunch of goodness there when it comes to the crunchy sugar pieces there. But the buttercream cloud does add a little bit extra to it, but essentially the exact same thing. It just looks really nice though. That's really the only difference. So basically, if you want an original glaze with some extra crunchies, go with this one compared to the one at the very top of the review. So this is just all right. So, all right, let me go for one last sip of some green tea and then we'll move on to the fourth and final one. Hang on. All right, ready to go. And guys, this one is gonna be the top gun, I think, out of the whole group and it looks really, really nice. What you're looking at here is the Shamrock Cookies and Cream made with Oreo Cookies Donut. And basically, it's an unglazed shell donut with cookies and cream filling made with Oreo cookies that's dipped in white icing with green drizzles and finished with a St. Patrick's Fusion Sprinkle. And as you can see right there, it does look pretty nice, guys, in terms of the crunchiness in the very top. But it's the filling that's, I think, going to be the standout with this particular one. And again, presentation-wise, it looks pretty nice, guys. I have to admit, it looks really, really good. And obviously, with the cream on the inside of this particular one right there, you can see the puncture wound. Looks like it's filled pretty nicely as well. So let's give this a shot. This is what they're calling the Shamrock Cookies and Cream Made with Oreos Donut over here at Krispy Kreme. That's a long title. It's pretty crazy. Let's peep this one out. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That Oreo cream lights it up big time. Mmm. <laughs> easily the best out of the group by far. Wow. Yeah, this definitely has the full package, guys. It's got the personality considering the way that it looks and the substance on the inside is pretty nice as well. That Oreo cream is a lovely situation. And of course, when you have all the crunchies right there on the very top and the white icing, very nice to dive into. So again, the cream is the real big star of this one. Aside from the presentation looking fairly decent as well, I'm digging the contrast when it comes to the actual amount of those little sugar crunchy pieces right there along with the icing. Lovely situation, and of course the Oreo goodness is banging. You know, I gotta say, I'm not overly blown away by the selection this year, guys. I mean, they're tasty donuts. I mean, don't get me wrong, Krispy Kreme is pretty banging, but when it comes to what I've got this year, it's a little bit more of the plain, more of the basic set than anything else. I mean, outside of the Shamrock Cookies and Cream Donut, they're really kind of just okay for what they are. And as you can see here, guys, while they do present pretty decently, there's a lot of basic, a lot of plain, a lot of reuse, obviously, but I gotta say that Shamrock Cookies and Cream is easily the one to go in. If you have to choose just one out of this group, I would go with that. So definitely give these a shot if you're curious about them, naturally, and you like what you're seeing, just set your expectations accordingly unless you get that shamrock cookies and cream because that one is pretty banging so yeah like i said at the top of this review i'm always down for Krispy cream whenever they come out with their promos guys i mean the monthly stuff they do is generally pretty tasty and this is no exception but again a little bit more on the basic side considering what it is so overall as a whole i'm gonna have to give the st patrick's day collection for 2024 here at Krispy cream just an okay seven out of ten and that's carried primarily with that shamrock cookies and cream made with oreos donut that really is the highlight out of the group the others i don't think are worth close to the three dollars and nine cent price point with the exception of that other filled one i guess the plaid party donut at that particular one the other two the original glazed those should not be above like a buck 50 if you ask me they're very basic so it is what it is what are you gonna do but still it's a st patrick's day promo so you know Krispy cream is gonna come with something right the something this time out is just okay all right so do me a quick favor like always drop those comments down below let me know what you thought of the look of the st patrick's day collection for 2024 here at Krispy cream did they look like they were worth it to you i mean it's three dollars and nine cents like the right price for any of those would you actually pay more or less depending upon what they were drop those comments down below and definitely let me know and with that this is ian k closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on peep this out reviews bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel so why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon in the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you and I seriously appreciate the love and support. 
Thanks again for all you do and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Yeah, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.